Hello, welcome to day number 24. So today we're gonna explore the power of KMAP. Before I start, please like this video, give your attendance and let's get started. So this is the problem we did yesterday and we see without the knowledge of our KMAP, we need to have four three input end gate and one four input OR gate. But can we reduce this hardware count? Or in other sense, can we reduce the silicon area to do the same logic and answer is yes we can do it by using the knowledge of kmap or the boolean expression reduction technique without the kmap also we can use all the algorithms all the postulates of boolean algebra and we can re reduce a boolean expression but that is a long form but the shortcut is that just use your kmap and reduce the expression whatever you have so we'll do that so for today what we need to have we need to use actually three map uh, three variable kmap because we have here three input right so now quickly we'll form our kmap for three input and for three input we know we have eight combinations so for that eight boxes and then we will assign the number as of kmap style four five and six and seven and then the variables so x3 x3 bar and then x2 x1 bar bar x2 x1 bar x2 x1 and then x2 x1 bar right okay so now if you concentrate or for example this box okay this box so in this box what we have we have x3 bar and then yeah we have done some mistakes here no bar here please excuse me we need to have bar here okay x3 bar and then x3 so if you concentrate on this box this particular box then you have uh, we have what we have x3 which is without the bar and then x2 and x1 and this is nothing but how we write our 7 in binary form because without bar it is 1 with bar it is 0 and we are doing SOP if you do POS then it will reverse but for now just forget about POS concentrate on uh, SOP okay now we have one for which all the row we have for 2 3 5 and 7 so for 2 3 5 and 7 we have inserted the 1 for other it is 0 right and then we need to form our uh, arrangement or our combination of first we'll try for four then for two but here four are not possible so we will, let me change the color of my so this is one arrangement this is another arrangement and we also have a arrangement here but it is not essential because both of them are been taken by other arrangement right so we will just keep it okay so from the first arrangement, from the first one, this one, what we have, we have x3 bar and then x2, x1, x2, x1, but x1 is changing its form, from a non-bar to a bar. So x1 will get eliminated and we'll have x2. And I have said in the beginning only, right, if you don't have kmap, then also you can reduce your boolean expression. For example, here, what is happening, see, you have your, for this 3 and 2, what's the representation of x uh, 3 and 2 we have for example for this box we have x3 bar and then from here we have x2 x1 or x3 bar again because this box of 2 is coming from x3 so x3 bar again and here from here top we are having x2 and x1 bar so we can take the common so here what are the common thing x3 bar and x1 bar are common so we can write x3 bar and x2 bar as common and inside braces we have x1 plus x1 bar right and from the basic postulates of boolean algebra we know anything a plus a bar will always result a1 so that means resultant would be your x3 bar and x2 bar only from where this postulate is coming because your x can take two value only zero and one and it is a or plus is there so if x1 is zero then x1 bar will be one and reverse is also true so that means you do anything you give any number actually we have two possibilities only so you give any possible zero or one in 
for x1 you will get a result in 1 only so that's why we can ignore the x and the final result would be x3 bar x2 bar yeah here we are doing a wrong thing it is not a without bar here no bar is there yeah so final result is x3 x2 and the same thing we are getting very easily from kmap so that's why and it is only for three variable for four, four variable if you want to do it using algorithms or using um what called theories of boolean algebra then it, it will be time taken process so that's why kmaps are great one okay so this is done for this arrangement what we have x3 will directly come and here which one is changing the value x2 is changing the value from bar to non bar so it is x1 so your final answer would be this one so here see how many gates we have reduced here we only need two end gate of two input previously four end gate was there of three input more the input more the silicon area because more the transistor are needed to design that end gate and only one or gate of two input previously it was four in so a huge reduction of the hardware or the silicon area right so just to prove our fact we will design or we will write the very code for this and we, we want to see a success message of it so please keep a note of this arrangement or this boolean expression because i'm gonna relating it so here i have done the coding here we need two where because we have two end gate right and two end gate will go inside a or gate so here see uh, inside a or gate you you are giving input those two wire t1 t2 and here we have two end gate of two input so let me submit and we should see a success message so if you have some doubt of kmap please revise it is very important for digital design and see we got a success message great okay so let's do another problem today and that is this one two bit inequality so here the simple task first task could be understand the problem what they want to tell you so here they are saying that hey choose a circuit uh, that has two bit input right and produce the output z the value of z should be one if a equal to b otherwise z should be zero first step is done we know what we need to do the second step is that hey we need to reduce it or first we need to build our truth table so let me build our truth table here so in truth table what we will have uh, how many input we have two input no we have four input because there are four bits right so i have written all the combinations here okay now if a equal to b then only our f or what we call output should go to one so let me let us deduce for which it will be go to one so this is one then then for this fellow it will be one and then for this fellow it will be one anywhere we are missing where it will be one yeah here also one zero one zero so it will be one so for these four combinations so the row number zero and here row number would be uh, it is row number five yeah row number zero five and then row number nine so we need to build a cam app of four input so let us do it quickly and then a numbering so we'll do numbering with small one, zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and for row number one for row number five for row number nine and for row number 15 we have a one and uh, very sadly we can see we have no arrangements here right so what we need to do we just need to take the whole thing so for example here what we have we have a0 b0 bar var and sorry not a0 v0 a0 a1 we just need to see how you have written your uh, truth table and likewise you need to arrange it here right and in this side it would be v0 v1 bar var so this would be your first one a0 a1 v0 v1 all are bar plus this f five number fellow and then 15 number and ninth 19 number so we just need to take them uh, we'll form the end gate array of end gate four end gate four input and we'll put it to a four input or gate and we'll get the result so here um, this step we can just keep because with kmap it is not helping us because from here only we are getting the result so you just need to remember these things at zero zero 0101 and then 1010 and then 111 so we'll just directly go here and we will try to write it here so we need to have how many end gate four end gate 
so and for for and gate will go to four where so we'll write where and then i need to write all those so let me write and you also try it out on yourself let me copy it four time and then let us assign so first all are zero right so we'll negate uh, uh not this one okay and then it was fifth one so it was zero one zero one which will have the output as z and comma and then all the three were and let us submit i hope we have done everything perfectly see how easy it is okay at line number four there is some issue let us go to there line number four oh oh sorry t2 t3 and t4 and we got the things what we want success okay so let us go to the next one and that is simple circuit yeah these are really simple really very simple this you need to do it so your task because you just need to uh, implement this one right so your task is to do simple circuit a simple circuit b because yeah simple circuit b have some some um, most of you can do most of you will feel difficulties of simple circuit b i will help you but simple circuit a you need to make it right on day number 25 we'll take sim uh, simple circuit b and this a and b are important because a or b are used in our next problem so here so that's why please do a if you can do b also so this is your today's question please do it sincerely give your answer and also i want your feedback for this series 24 days already done so please let me know how i am doing there is a google form link in the description so there you please give it so i'll get a statistics in comment also you can write but it will be helpful if you can give feedback in the google form which is in the description below